Wow. It's a tough question to answer. Because any question that has a problem associated with also seeks a solution. And that's why it's very difficult. Are we able to solve the problem so far because of religions? Are we trying to whitewash and say we're going to create unity despite of differences? I have seen in Middle East especially, and I return to Sheikh of Dubai, they have established a ministry of tolerance, ministry of tolerance. And the, tolerance to me is an obnoxious word. I tell you why. Are you married? I'm married. You're married. Okay. Would you tell your wife I tolerate you? <laughs> In unity, there has to be a level of acceptance, not tolerance. And this acceptance cannot happen when we are already fighting on mere words. Christians, they say they are better than Jews. Jews, they say better, better than Islam. This Islam says we are better than everyone. Hindus, they say, we are the most pious people on this planet. It goes on and on. Where will there be unity? When will it be ever? It's not possible. All these religions, sorry to say, the death battle should ring sooner. Because under the name of religion, so many people have died and murdered and killed. Religion, we have seen, history speaks volumes. They crucified even Lord Jesus. He had nothing to do with all these fightings and all that. He was just trying to bring a message of peace. Same thing happened to Mahavira. Same thing happened to Lord Buddha. People of success are always haunted by politicians and other extremists. Is there a solution? I don't think so. You can dream of it all you want. Unless and until each individual heart changes, peace is not possible. You have to move on. Transcend the religion. Religions are dogmatics. They have dogmas, they have belief systems. That separates us. When you talk of omnipresence of God in any religion, every religion says God is love. Have you experienced the love of God? If you have experienced, then you will not talk about it. It's futile to talk. You won't waste your time in talking about love. You will become love yourself. Isn't it? As we move on further, the idea of omnipresence or omnipotency of God or omniscience, quality of God or compassionate nature of God, it is a superficial knowledge. The moment something happens to us, we begin to question, where the hell is this God? See, my family is under so much of trouble. My child got shot. Where is this God? So our faith is very superficial. Behind every knowledge, there has to be a backing of foundation of experience. Otherwise, your knowledge remains hollow. Actually, I trust more the atheists than the people who believe in God. I tell you why. Person who does not believe, they say, I don't believe because I have not experienced. I have asked my mother many times, 
you say God so many times. You want me to worship this God. And why do you believe in God, mommy? She says, I don't know. My mother taught me, my grandmother taught me, my religion taught me. Our holy scriptures, they talk about it. But Ma, what about you? Have you experienced God? And are you making this statement based on your personal experience? She says, no. So my belief remains hollow and very superficial. In spirituality, or rather through spirituality, one can experience what you believe in. Through meditation, you can see the oneness, things that you feel in yourself, the same entity living a jiva in another human being, and when you see they're exactly the same, then there is no argument. So there is a call for experience. When I experience something, all the questions would end. You will not ask, where is God? Who should I believe in God? Where is love? Then you'll say, he's within me. See? Next step, experience though it may be great, but let's see me and you go for a vacation somewhere and we are entertained by you know, a very wealthy person. For three months we are together, having great time. But both of us will be thinking, oh, we wish we were also billionaires. We were also as rich. So the ex rich hospitality may be great. But within me, there is an urge. I wish I was also as rich. Divine experiences may be great. To become divine is another matter. So belief is good. Experience is better. Experience is greater. But becoming is even better. So the whole journey has to go on and on and on improving, you see. And having become divine, is that another dimension after that? And I would say definitely yes. The drop has still need to become the ocean. Thank you.